A five second test is a fantastic tool for increasing conversions on your homepage, on landing pages or in any opt-in form. And this video is a quick tour about what it is and how to use it. So what is a five second test? To demonstrate, we can do one right now as you're watching this video. So I'll show you a page and you'll look at it for five seconds and then I take it away again. And now I'd ask you some questions like, what did you see? What do you remember about this page? What was it about? And what would you have done next? Now, if you give me an answer like, well, I remember seeing something about signing up for a course to learn how to do webinars. So I guess I would have signed up in that form that I saw on the page. That tells me that page did a good job of clearly communicating what it's about. However, if you give me an answer like, well, I'm not quite sure. I remember seeing a laptop and a computer screen and I was a bit confused. I guess maybe this is like a shop where I can buy laptops. If you give me an answer like that, then I know this page does not do a good job of communicating what it's about within five seconds. So why is a five second test important? Well, first of all, it solves the problem that as a creator you have, as a creator of anything such as a page, you're basically too close to your own creation to be able to see it clearly. So you might have put together a homepage for your website and when you look at it, it seems really clear. It seems like it's clear what this business is about. I get it. But the problem is you already know so much about yourself and your own business that you really aren't a very good judge of that. So having someone else take a look and give you feedback about what they see and what they understand can be very, very helpful. And why five seconds? Well, the five second test is really good because people don't have a lot of patience online. You really can't expect someone to come to your website for the first time and spend a minute or even 30 seconds just to figure out what this website is, what it's about and what they can get there. The average online visitor wants to know that within seconds of loading your page. And that's why a five second test is such a powerful tool because if your pages do pass the five second test, that makes them incredibly more effective than a page that doesn't pass the five second test, but that maybe you know clearly communicates if you spend enough time on it. So the next question is, how can you run a five second test? And there are two ways. The first is very simple and low tech, which is you basically just grab someone in real life coworker, friend, family member, whatever, someone who hasn't seen the page or opt-in form that you're working on yet, you show it to them on a screen for five seconds and you close the window and you ask, okay, you know, what did you see? What do you remember? And the other way is to do it online. For example, there is a service called Usability Hub where you can do, where you can submit a screenshot of a page and have other people do five second tests on them and give you written feedback. And apart from Usability Hub, there are other online services that let you do this. Which brings us to our final question, what should you run five second tests on? And the answer is any important page or opt-in form on your site. So definitely your homepage should pass a five second test and opt-in forms should pass a five second test and also any conversion page, any landing page. So any page on which you're trying to get people to sign up with their email address, trying to get people to buy something, trying to get people to schedule a call or an appointment with you, any page that has a clear conversion goal like that, run a five second test on it, optimize it and continue optimizing and testing until it passes a five second test with flying colors. It will make your website and your business a lot more effective. So that's our quick look at the five second test, a great usability and conversion rate optimization tool. Below this video, you'll find some further details as well as tools you can use to run five second tests. And of course, if you have questions about this, please leave a comment and we'll get back to you with an answer.